Good afternoon. I thought I'd do a little video on uh, how I made my trees at the weekend. So uh, this is one of them, uh, made out of wire and uh, rubberized horsehair. Um, so that, that's what I ended up with. I want to make uh, some, perhaps just a, a bit smaller than those, uh, and I'm going to make uh, make them out of uh, this wire, which is uh, floral craft wire that I got from Hobbycraft. Um, so it's thin enough. The only problem with it is it's um, it's got this black oily coating to it, which makes a, a pig's ear of your uh, and so uh, hence why I'm wearing uh, rubber gloves. So uh, what I'm going to start off doing is um, cutting uh, a lot of lengths that I can then twist together. I'm going to make um, these one around about seven inches and I probably need um, about 40 uh, lengths altogether. So I'll get on and uh, I'll cut cut those and uh, resume in a second. Okay so I've got my um, 40 or 45 strands of wire together and uh, made sure that the sort of bottoms uh, or one end is more or less together and that's going to form uh, the root of the tree or the root, uh, roots of the tree rather. So uh, I've got an, an, an additional piece of wire which I'm just going to wrap around the, the trunk just to hold uh, them all together. So it's just uh, sort of stabilising all the individual strands to form the bottom part of the trunk. And then I'll just leave that strand to weave into the first section. So uh, there, there's my uh, basic form. So the bottom, uh, I'll just twist those into a root system after I've done the branches. And now I want to start dividing these and uh, and twisting them out. So it's just a question of sort of teasing a couple of stems out together and then twisting them. So. I find it uh, easy just to use a, a pair of um, needle-nosed pliers and then um, decide which way you're going to twist. So I always uh, twist clockwise using the pliers. And there's the first, first branch. And then uh, I'm going to twist the, the next one up. So there we start to to form a system where the branches start to separate. So I'll just take a few out uh, of that one. And twist those. And similarly with each intersection as you go. So you just work your way up, uh, twisting as you go, and sp splitting and separating. So I'll carry on, um, and I'll see you in a minute. Right, I've got my uh, basic uh, tree form done. Uh, so I've gradually sort of gone up um, the, the branches, splitting the, uh, the various wires to create smaller branches, and then smaller branches still. And actually I've just seen one that I haven't quite finished. So uh, there we have uh, just the last little one to do. Let's quickly finish that one. So it's just a question of twisting and twisting until you've got a nice tight spiral.
then as you get towards the top you can drop the odd wire out and uh, I always end with two which I'll just twist together until within uh, a centimetre or so of the end drop that one out and then finish with the two So then you can start to, to form your basic uh, tree shape. So very roughly something like that. And then what I'll do is uh, I'll just go through and chop off the ends of the wires. Uh, so I only want sort of half a centimetre or so of a single wire at the end. Just sort of split them up into a V and uh, just show them down a wee bit so you get the idea I'll just finish these off and uh, see that up. so there's the uh, basic tree finish um, you can see uh, each branch ends in a little uh, so you little snake tongue. To so I've just got the uh, the roots to do. So uh, the bit at the bottom there, I need to uh, collect up into a, a sort of root system and twist the, a few together. And then that's going to be what helps it to stand up. I forgot to turn the sound off the TV on there, so I'm sorry about that. So, Well, I've done uh, three branches of, uh, or three root branches, if that's the right word. Uh, I'll finish off the rest and see you in a second. So here's the tree finished, or the uh, the basic skeleton of it finished. And uh, I've teased the roots out uh, so that uh, that'll provide a base uh, to stick the tree onto... Um, a piece of MDF, which I will now do, and when that's dry, we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll start coating the the wire. So I've um, stuck the tree uh, to the base uh, using um, cheap um, sealant. Um, this what's this stuff here? Instant filler, and uh, I'm now going to coat uh, the wire uh, so that uh, you can't see the uh, the structure of the twisted wires underneath. So what I'll do is um, just give it a, a squirt of uh, filler and then uh, literally just uh, paint it on. Um, now the first lot I did, uh, took two coats, 
So it's just a question of covering the wire with the filler. Whoops. Now you can see that uh, it's starting to make some coverage on there, but I think it's going to need a second coat. Um, this particular filler dries quite quickly, um, so what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll finish off coating it up, stick it on top of my uh, heater sitting beside me, and then uh, give it a second coat. So I'll crack on with that. So the first coat of uh, filler is dried. Oop. and uh, as you can see it's a little bit patchy so I'll, uh, I'll add another coat and then that should do it hopefully and then it's just a question of sort of filling any of the um, obvious signs of wire So I'll uh, continue that and uh, get back to you shortly. So there's the second coat of uh, filler dried. Um, I'm happy with that. That's uh, made a reasonable covering. Bear in mind that uh, most of those branches are actually going to get covered up with foliage in due course. So before I paint it, I'm going to seal it with PVA glue. Um, so I've got my handy massive big pot of glue and uh, if I can get the stuff out, I haven't used it for a day so the uh, top is, where's my cocktail stick? There we go. Now the one thing I've discovered the first time I did this is, uh, I'm just going to paint it on. Um, once you start painting it on, it's actually really difficult to see which um, which bit you've done, which is alright with this, the uh, the trunk of the tree, but once you start doing the branches, uh, you can't, can never remember which uh, branch you did, you've done. So what I'm going to do is just uh, stick a couple of drops of uh, paint into it, uh, and I'll use that as a marker so that I know where I've painted. So there we go. And now uh, when I paint it on I know exactly which which part has been sealed and which parts haven't. So it's just a question of a, a liberal covering with glue and that will seal it, ready for painting. So I tend to select a branch and uh, finish that section all the way to the end. <coughs> Making sure that the top and bottom of each uh, branch is covered. So there we go, 
I'll uh, carry on with that and then uh, the next bit will be after the glue's dried and it's ready for painting. Well that's the uh, tree now sealed. Um, you can see the sort of glue in the paint mixture is giving it a little bit of a shiny uh, a shiny look. Um, but that that will be covered up on with the next coat of paint. So I'm going to use um, just uh, any old brown paint. This one happens to be uh, Tamiya flat brown, uh, and I'm going to paint the tree brown. It's not going to be the final colour uh, of the branches and uh, trunk, uh, because what I'll do is I'll um, I'll spray. Once I've stuck the horsehair on, I'll spray the whole lot brown, um, and I'll probably use uh, Vallejo, uh, one of the Vallejo browns. So I'm just going to give this uh, a basic coat of uh, brown just to get rid of all the white and give it a good base for the spray paint when that goes on after the next section. So I won't do the whole base because uh, the base is, has got to have a bit more modelling done on it. I'll add a bit more filler to that and bulk it up a bit uh, right uh, towards the end. So it's just a question of making your way up the branches and giving it a good uh, a good coat of paint. So uh, I shall do that in my own time and uh, then the next section will be ready to uh, put the horsehair on. So we're all uh, ready to uh, start putting some um, horsehair onto the uh, tree. Uh, this is the stuff. Um, here is half of uh, a sheet um, that I've used some of to make some hedges. Um, and this is uh, the remnants uh, of another sheet uh, that I used to make my first batch of trees. So uh, all I'm going to do is rip uh, pieces off at random shapes and then give it a bit of a sort of fluffing up so that it's not quite flat uh, as it comes um, in the sheet. Uh, incidentally this stuff is used for uh, upholstery uh, cushions and stuff so um, that's where it, it comes from. So I'm just going to make a load of piles and then basically what I'm going to do is uh, glue them in place onto uh, the various branches uh, like so um, so I'm just ripping bits off creating patches of, of branches so what I'll do is um, crack on with that and then I'll uh, Put some glue on uh, on the, the the branches and just stick them in place, uh, and that'll hold them uh, nicely until we get to uh, spray the whole thing brown. So I'll uh, I'll crack on with that. So the uh, horse has just about dried, and uh, I just need to come and tidy it up a bit and get rid of all this sort of stray strands. Give it a bit a bit, a bit of a haircut, and uh, I mean I don't know if you can. So lots of sort of sticky up strands that I'm just going to get rid of and uh, neaten it up a bit. Um, also the ones underneath so that so you don't have any little uh, strands sticking down underneath the tree. And then um, sort of no single big ones sticking out at the edges. So once that's done it'll be uh, ready for spraying. So 
So I think uh, that's about it. Just uh, an odd one at the top there. And I think uh, I think we're there. So uh, I'll just let that stand for a little while uh, while I clean my airbrush. So a little hiccup with a uh, spray gun. So hopefully it's working now. So it's just uh, going over all the little bits of green, which is the rubber I think that they use to rubberize the horse hair. And turning the tree brown. So that's about it. Now um, you could probably leave that as it is for a winter. <coughs> um, but um, once that's dried off that'll be ready for a, a green flock. Right, we'll see how this goes. Uh, the base is balanced precariously on my knee with uh, my iPhone on the stand between my legs, so uh, not my b the best view I've got of it, but anyway. So uh, we're at the stage where we're going to turn the tree green. Um, I've got my spray adhesive. I'm going to give the uh, tree a blast and then um, put some flock on it. So it's just a question of giving it a liberal covering before the glue goes on. Just making sure that all the bits of uh, branches and twigs I've got some. I don't want to put uh, any underneath because that gives the effect of uh, the branches underneath. So that's probably about enough. And I'll, let, I'll scoop all the, the, the uh, bits and pieces off and put them back in my pot. Uh, but that's basically how it ends up. Um, so I'll let that dry and then I'll give it a couple of blasts with hairspray to kind of set it. Right, it's been a few hours since uh, I put the flock on so uh, it should be reasonably dry by now. So I'm just going to give it a blast 
of uh, hairspray. Uh, this is generic stuff from uh, Morrison's. I think it was about ATP or something. Uh, extra firm hold. So uh, a blast of that, and then that'll just help to uh, keep the flock in place and and hopefully stop bits uh, dropping off all the time. So that should uh, should do the trick. And uh, all I've got to do then is um, just touch up the uh, the trunk a little bit and then uh, do the base. So I'll uh, stick that on the heater and uh, let it dry. So this is the final result. Um, I've now uh, flocked and painted the base and given the uh, tree a little bit of uh, highlighting and shade and um, dry brushing. Um, so I'm, overall I'm quite happy with that. I've now got uh, about eight of these completed. Uh, two more uh, need painting. Um, and I've also uh, experimented with smaller, smaller trees. I'm not 100% convinced of these. Uh, I need to get the shape right, but um, there's a smaller one. And there's a, a fruit tree of some description. But uh, as I say, I need to play around with uh, the bare bone skeleton of the tree to make sure I get the branch shape right first. Um, but um, work in progress. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial video. Uh, thanks very much for watching.